suspect and the victim are documented gang members, but most of the other victims were not involved in gang life. You can imagine when you have that many people crowded into a small parking lot like that, that there's going to be a great deal of um, collateral damage, if you will. Police are not releasing any details about their suspect now, concerned he may go into hiding, but they say witnesses saw him with a gun firing into the crowd. Investigators are still trying to determine if the auto shop owner who threw the party should also face charges. Well, we had some cooler weather to start our week today with some rain and clouds keeping the temperatures down. Dave Freeman's here with the details now in our first forecast. A good Monday, Dave. Hey, you said the magic words for the month of July. Rain, clouds, temperature down. I would only add one thing, Steph, and that is no severe weather. We just have some nice showers and storms out there on our 3D Stormcaster. As you can see, they are actually moving in a very unusual direction for this part of the world, southeast to northwest. We'll talk about the, why that is a little while, but let's take a closer look at the showers and storms in 3D. And you got a pretty nice couple of bands of them out there racing to the northwest, stripping away the less important echoes. Let's concentrate on the moderate rain. Got a real nice area from Pratt over toward uh, Cunningham and up into southwestern parts of Reno County. We've also got another little area in Rice County. You can see from, low, oh, say, a little bit uh, to the west of Sterling to northwest of Lyons and then swinging around through Marion County, some nice pockets of rain in there as well. We've got lower temperatures, no big heat in store, and no severe weather. What a great night for the month of July. And we've got more to come. I'll be back to tell you about it. All right, we'll check back. Thanks, Dave. An inmate at the Sedgwick County Jail died today. The sheriff's office says the 60-year-old Robert Dalen had a medical emergency in his cell. He was taken by an ambulance to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead just before 3 this afternoon. We're told his death is related to complications with a, chronicle, a chronic medical condition. The KBI is investigating. And a girl who was left home alone with two other children has died of injury she suffered in a fire. It started around 7 Thursday night in the 3900 block of East Countryside. Officials say the six-year-old girl was playing with a lighter and caught her clothes on fire. Those flames then spread. Neighbors helped the girl and two sisters escape the house, but the six-year-old was in critical condition and she died Sunday. Police are still investigating whether the mother should face criminal charges. Across the country, protesters took to the streets today upset over the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the shooting death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. You're looking right now live at a rally for Trayvon taking place here in Wichita at 21st and Hillside. About 30 people are out showing their support for the memory of Trayvon and for the Martin family while expressing frustrations with the not guilty verdict for George Zimmerman on Saturday. But the legal ordeal may not be over for Zimmerman. Even though a jury acquitted him, Zimmerman could now face federal charges that he shot Trayvon Martin because the teen was African American. Steve Handelsman has the latest. Zimmerman, not guilty. Acquitted of murder and manslaughter in a state court, George Zimmerman cannot be retried on those charges. But for allegedly targeting Trayvon Martin based on race, Zimmerman could be charged with federal civil rights violations. Some in Congress today demanded that. George Zimmerman identified Trayvon Martin as a potential criminal because he was black. Race was not taken into consideration in this trial. And so now it should be. Bringing a civil rights case is Attorney General Eric Holder's call. The nation, he said today, is still in pain. Surrounding the tragic, unnecessary shooting death of Trayvon Martin, the Justice Department shares your concern. I share your concern. But no decision. Holder's team will take a fresh look at the facts and the trial testimony. In Los Angeles in the early 90s, police who beat a fleeting motorist, Rodney King, were acquitted in state court, sparking riots. And two of the cops were later convicted of federal charges. But the Sanford, Florida case would be tougher for the feds. No witnesses, says a former top Justice Department official. They're going to have to convince a jury beyond any reasonable doubt that George Zimmerman, when he targeted Trayvon Martin, uh, had Trayvon Martin's race in mind. It's always hard to prove beyond a reasonable doubt what's on somebody's mind, and particularly here where we just didn't have any other witnesses who were around. So despite the angry reaction by some to Zimmerman's acquittal, 
the Florida trial may be his last. I'm Steve Handelsman, KSN News. Even if the Justice Department decides not to bring a federal civil rights case, Zimmerman could get sued in civil court by Trayvon Martin's family. We'll keep you updated. President Obama joined former President George H.W. Bush at the White House today to present the 5,000th award for the Points of Light Foundation. Obama credited Bush with sparking a national movement to boost volunteerism and community service. The two men presented the Point of Light Award to Floyd Hammer and Kathy Hamilton, retired farmers from Iowa who founded a nonprofit that delivers meals to hungry children in more than 15 countries. Asiana Airlines says it plans to sue a San Francisco area TV station for airing an inaccurate story about the deadly plane crash. Last week, KTVU broadcast what Asiana calls racially offensive fake names for the four pilots of the flight that crashed in San Francisco July 6, killing three and injuring 180. Asiana Airlines sent out this statement. This legal action is being taken because of the KTVU report that not only disparaged Asians in general through the use of racially charged epithets, but also severely damaged the reputation of Asiana Airlines. A former K-State quarterback is passing on his football tricks. Still ahead here at 5, area kids are learning from one of the best at a camp put on by Colin Klein. And junk food lovers are celebrating the return of the Twinkie and what it means for a Kansas town. These stories and more coming up. You're watching KSN News at 5 with Stephanie Bergman and Chief Meteorologist Dave Freeman. News and weather when you want it at KSN.com. He was a high-flying Olympic hopeful until tragedy struck. This week, a devastating accident left him near death. Now, almost four years later, Kevin Pierce is defying the odds. His inspirational comeback, NBC Nightly News This Week. Contact You Build It today to find out how you also can build more home for less money. Get your free information DVD today at YouBuildIt.com. Your home's in your hands. You build it. Are you in the 1%? Well, if you earn over $34,000 a year, you are one of the wealthiest 1% in the world. 